Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Today Isle. Today, I'll be further processing the hair that I caught in one of my last episodes, the uh, Snares for Hairs video. This is part two. And today I'll be preparing a, a chasseur dish. Now, typically a chasseur dish is uh, made with game meat and a brown sauce, uh, usually mushrooms and white wine and things like that. And so this is essentially what I'm doing. Uh, this is the loin of the rabbit. That's the only part that I really wanted to use in this particular recipe since I've already decided I was going to use deer meat before I discovered that I had this rabbit. So, uh, it's going to be rabbit and deer meat um, and mushrooms and, and a bunch of other things. We're going to go with the mushrooms. Chop those up first. It's always great what you can do with, uh, you know, a little speed. <laughs> I, I do have uh, some pretty good knife skills since I have been doing this all my life, cooking. I'm the, the primary cook. I have probably mentioned that a billion times, but that's fine. Onions. I'm, I'm using pretty much a whole onion here. And green pepper or red pepper. I mean, the vegetables in this thing, you can, you can put in kind of whatever you want. These are just the staples that, you know, a good chasseur would probably have. Chasseur means hunter in French. Uh, ironically, it's not a French dish. It's actually a German dish. But uh, anyway, here's some deer meat that uh, is still partially frozen. Actually, I prefer to cut it when it's partially frozen. It's just so much easier to do, as you can see. Yep. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Chop, chop. So then we're going to uh, put some oil in the pan, and we're just going to cook up the meat first. The meat needs to be uh, browned up a little bit. What we're going to do is actually put it in a casserole. This is not a typical chasseur. Chasseur usually is a sauce, and the meat goes in, and the vegetables, and you serve the sauce over rice or pasta. But um, I decided to do it as a casserole because we had some, some cheese that we wanted to use up. It was a... Uh, goat cheese that we had go, goat and sheep actually two different types Menchiego and uh, Iberico and we decided we would uh, try to use some of that up I'm using some smoked paprika here I'm just bringing that up to a sizzle salt and pepper I'm using some of my oyster mushrooms that I harvested this uh, summer and fall that I have dried these add a delicious flavor nice umame so, uh, saute this until it's nice and brown, as you can see here. Smells amazing, by the way. And then just uh, brown up the vegetables, make sure the onions are cooked. Once they go clear, you can get your casserole ready for it. Now, I'm using a uh, gluten-free since my wife has celiac uh, broth and I'm also using a brown gravy mix which is uh, kind of a just from a package but we've had a lot of success using it in many different recipes just let that simmer and thicken and once it's a little bit thicker we will add that to the casserole I've already got some uh, prepared rice in the casserole dish. And we're just going to... Actually, do I have the... I'll tell you what, I'll be adding rice to this. There it is. <laughs> just, gonna just mix that all together. And we're going to put that in the casserole, and then we're going to top it with that cheese I was talking about before. Alright, in she goes. I didn't grease my pan or anything like that. With this particular recipe, you don't really have to. Um, you, you might get a little bit of sticking, but if your pan is really prone to sticking, you may want to spray some oil or something on it. But And then I'm going to use this cheese. That we, again, it was frozen, so it's all crumbly, falls apart, but that's alright. It'll melt down onto it and brown up and it will be delicious. In the oven, 
I've got it around 400. Ooh, a little foggy. That's what it looks like when it's cooking. Well, there you go, that's just one way that I use my uh, wild game meat. Um, the rabbit here and, uh, of course, deer that I harvested this fall. And that's what it looks like when it's complete. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed.